How you doing everybody? Welcome back to Fitness and Nutrition with Rick Gither, where we're conscious, not crazy. So today, I am going to ask you to do me a favor. It's a huge favor, and I've talked about it in past videos, but it's a really, really important topic, and people have problems with it. Take your scale and put it in the closet. Get rid of it. We need to fix your metabolism. If you've been dieting for a long period of time and you've stopped losing weight, but you continue on your diet because as soon as you come off your diet a little bit, you gain a pound or you gain two pounds. Personal trainers and nutritionists try and get people to go to their maintenance calories for a period of time. When we try and get people to do that, they freak out because they gain two or three pounds and they go back on their diet. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I want you to take your current weight, not how much you want to weigh. I want you to take your current weight, and if you do not work out, times it times 10. Like I'm 200 pounds. 200 pounds, if I didn't work out, that would be 2,000 calories a day. All right, now, here we go again. Now, if I work out from one to three hours a week, I'm going to times that times 11. So that's going to be what? 2,200 calories a day. If you work out five hours a week, we are going to times that times 12. Getting it? Getting it? All right, good. Now, if you work out uh, 5 to 10 hours a week, we're going to times times 13. And if you work out 10 plus, you times it times 14. That is the minimum number of calories that you should be having a day. And when people jump right to their maintenance calories, a lot of times they gain weight and it's not just on the scale. They notice that they gain fat because they jumped too fast. So what you need to do is find out, take a couple of days, and monitor what you're eating. Use my fitness pal or write it down and do the numbers and find out what you are on average you're eating. And whatever that is, we are going to add 100 to 150 calories the following week. And then the following week after that, we're going to add 1 to 150 and if you notice that you're gaining fat a little faster, then you stay at that calories for a week. But if you're still good, and I don't want you to step on the scale, but if you're still good and you haven't noticed any extra looseness, I want you to go ahead and add more. And we're going to do that until you reach your maintenance calories. That is the only way to reset yourself, all right? So I need you to do that for me. It's very simple, it's very simple, like myself. If I'm, on a, if I'm on a cut and I'm eating 2,200 calories a day, which is a 500 calorie deficit for me, because my maintenance calories is around 27 on non-workout days to 3,000 calories on lifting days. So if I, if I don't let myself get all the way to that point, when I go on a deficit, I'm just stalling myself. I'll make it a week or two weeks, and you guys have that problem. So please, do me a favor, take your scale, Put it in the closet. Give it to somebody else. Get rid of it because you're thinking too hard. Every time it's the, you look at that thing, it screws up your mind. So just get rid of it. For the next month, two months, three months even, we have to get your metabolism up to where it needs to go. Trust me, three months, three weeks, one month, two months, you get the point, is, is better than years and frustration and just being the same place you are in a year. Take the time, make the effort. This is the anti-weight loss challenge. This is the get the hell rid of the scale challenge and let's get healthy challenge, all right? Now I could talk about this forever, so I'm just gonna cut it short at that. Please do me a favor. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube page. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Get it.